This is the Wise Guy Radio Show, a podcast dedicated to educating and inspiring through conversations with today's top talents in the world of glass. We will be dissecting their journeys in hopes to deliver actionable content that you, the artist, can start implementing now, helping you grow not only as a creative spirit, but also a successful artistic entrepreneur. With a little organization, relationship building, and your artistic ability, you can obtain greatness. Climb aboard, whether an artist, retail owner, or enthusiast, we have a ton of fun in store for you. Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show was brought to you by Green Flash Glass. The Green Flash Glass logo is a symbol of quality because they take pride in their craftsmanship and stand behind their products. With over 15 years of experience and an amazing team of artists, Green Flash Glass backs up their work with 100% quality guarantee, friendly responsive customer service, and high quality products at an affordable price. For more info, go to greenflashglass.com. That's greenflashglass.com. This episode of the Wise Guy Radio Show is sponsored by Mountain Glass Arts. Since 2002, Mountain Glass has continued to bring you great customer service with a knowledgeable and friendly staff. As one of the nation's premier borosilicate glass supply companies, they strive to cover all your glass needs. For more information on their history, as well as the up-to-date sales, check out their site, www.mountainglass.com. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Wise Guy Radio Show, episode number 62. This is Jay Michael, your host, and I am currently coming to you live from Epcot over in the Magic Kingdom here in Orlando, Florida, where I am doing a couple days here for the holidays, making some octopus and hanging out and entertaining the guests, and I uh, figured I would record here since it is Friday, and shows come out on Friday, so what is going on? How is everybody doing? I uh, recorded actually on the way in today, and uh, as soon as I hit the record button, my mind went completely blank. I had notes written, and still, blank mind does not equal podcast episode. So therefore, I'm recording now, and also gave me a chance to kind of go through the day and kind of come up with uh, some my thoughts and uh, that I wanted to share. And uh, before I get started with what I'm talking about today, I want to let you all know that I am going to be uh, putting a... Uh, oh yeah, you're going to be hearing a lot of music and background shit, so I apologize for the process. It's uh, holidays at the parks, so you're going to be hearing like Christmas music and people laughing and kids crying and stuff so oh well it's fun ambient noise in the background so uh either way uh what i'm going to say is that i'm going to put a uh nix uh ixnay uh canceling my uh audiobook deal this time around with the tim ferris book due to the fact that i am having issues trying to find ways to communicate uh the book uh, in a review style without actually repeating things that are being said verbatim in the book so My thought with this was that if you guys that are gals and everybody else out there that are following this book, um, or if you have read it or are going through the process of it, uh, I'm going to be giving you guys updates on my process as I go through the book and uh, go through the steps and phases and processes and everything that's discussed. And then uh, when the book is all done, then I will do a total complete review of my perspective on it. Uh, changes that I've made due to the book, uh, influences, etc., and then uh, go from there. So I apologize for not following through on this, and because I don't want to just put out some bullshit, I figured I might as well just be honest with you guys and say, hey, here's why I haven't done it, here's why Wednesday show didn't come out, because I actually recorded Wednesday show and didn't like how it came out, so uh, therefore I am going to be uh, stopping that. But that being said, uh, thank you so much again for tuning in. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do today was just kind of go over a couple of main topics that I'm going to be covering over the next month here, along with into the first of next year. Uh, as we all know, we are now in the holiday season. Uh, if you're listening to this in December of next year, it'll be the same way. But if you're listening to this in June, well, I guess it won't matter. But it'll still give you some ideas and some uh, concepts of things to think about when December comes around. And the two main topics that I'm going to be covering now are, of course, one is taxes, which is coming up here, and also our goals for 2016. Uh, 2016 is looking to be 
uh, potentially one of the bigger years for our industry that we've had uh, as it grows, uh, as we now have like 25 trade shows a year and then also like 45,000 plus shops in this country. And then with now Instagram and Facebook and social media kind of taking over the landscape as well, uh, we all have areas of opportunity ahead of us that we've got to take full advantage of. So I'm going to be writing down my goals for you guys and then also talking about uh, kind of ways to go about accomplishing those goals. And then just some kind of ideas of goals maybe that you haven't thought about before. Um, but we know, individually we all have um, our own insights and goals of what we want to accomplish. Uh, so therefore, I will be sharing my goals with you guys. Um, I don't have them written down yet. I do have some ideas on what I want to do. Oh, shit, I'm hitting buttons. Hold on a second. Um... But I do have some ideas of what uh, it is that I'm going to cover. And in the meantime, I just wanted to... Uh, it's kind of windy here. I apologize. I wanted to uh, touch base and just kind of say, hey, let you guys know what I'm thinking. Uh, next week, I have uh, Lou Zimmerman back on, our lawyer uh, for the show, who is going to be uh, giving us some insight into uh, copyright infringements and laws around that, um, especially that have to do with our industry in particular. And then uh, we have our Glass Knowledge segment coming back on. I have an interview for Monday set. Uh, and we have uh, three other interviews that are already set and ready to go as well. So the next month is pretty much now booked full, which I'm excited about. Finally caught up and up to date on, on our shows here. So I look forward to that. But uh, what I was going to do was leave you guys tonight with a recording that my wife did uh, for our daughter. She uh, needed... Uh, Britt, to, uh, who's my wife, to record a poem that she could play for her class. And my wife does a hilarious uh, British accent kind of voice, uh, being that she grew up around those type of people. And I'm not meaning type of people as a bad thing, I'm just saying, growing up around the British accent. And she's very familiar and does a great impression. So, oh, we're about to get ready for illumination. <laughs> I'm getting closer to the lake, so it's going to get louder. We also ask for your safety and that of our guests and cast members that you remain on the promenade side of all ladies during the show. Thank you for your cooperation. Tonight's special performance of Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, will begin in just 30 minutes. Thank you. Cue the music. All right, so as I was saying, my wife uh, recorded this, and she's going to kill me for putting this on here, but I think it's funny as shit, and uh, it's a real poem. I don't know who it's by, actually, which I feel bad about, and you call my daughter and find out, and I'll put the uh, credit for who the poem is by in the show notes, but I uh, just figured I'd leave you guys with that, so enjoy her little uh, British accent uh, recorded uh, uh, poem here. And I will see you guys on Monday, where we have a glass artist that goes by Mongo on Instagram. He is at the Orion Glass, and he is a 20-year OG lamp worker. And uh, we had an amazingly entertaining conversation, just to put it that way. So I love you guys. Wish you the best. Have a beautiful weekend. Happy Melton. Have a wise night. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Peace. Pretends like a microphone. Uh, this is too tall. I'm vertically challenged. Pretends like a robot penis and put your mouth right on it. I don't do that kind of crap. Robot penis. Test these balls. Test these balls. Can you hear me? Test. Oh, hello. Sorry. Are you recording this? Yes. Yeah. Record it for me, please. I am. Test these balls. Test these balls. But just say, like, what you had for breakfast today, real quick, so I can get maybe what you sound like. What did I have for breakfast? I had nothing. Had, like, right up on it. Like, right I there. had nothing That's for it. breakfast. <laughs> All right, poor scum. <laughs> I had nothing for breakfast. I had a cup of coffee, and it was horrible. They put cream and sugar in it, and it tastes like ice. Hello, love. 
You gotta do like a do like a three, two, one, and then go. Three, two, one. The voice. There is a voice inside of you. Damn it. You gotta be like right up on that thing, like I said. Like, I don't like that. I'm sorry, but you gotta be just like you gotta like hold it up hold this up here. There you go. That's how I do it. I know it's a little tiring, but you got to. Okay, ready? Yeah, right up on that bitch, like right up on it. There you go. The voice. The voice. There is a voice inside of you that whispers all day long. I feel that this is right for me. I know that this is wrong. No teacher, preacher, parent, friend, or wise man can decide what's right for you. Just listen to the voice that speaks inside of you. Cut! SpongeBob! (laughs) This is the Wise Guy Radio. Yeah, I totally fucked up all my buttons on that one. Thank you guys so much. Uh, and I'm talking to myself now. I hope you guys enjoyed her little British canter there. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you again for tuning in. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Take it easy. Have a wise night.